and welcome back to more Kingdoms of Amalur. <laughs> yeah, do you see what's in front of me? <laughs> I just loaded up the game, got in, and what do I see but a floating man? Well then. Yeah. Wonderful. Excuse me, coming through. Is he gonna? <sighs> he just sat down again. <laughs> well. That's interesting. Anyways, we are here today to get started on the, the Legend of Dead Kel. And here's our man right here. You must be here about the notice. How do I know? Simple. No one but potential applicants will even speak to me. Must be because I reek of desperation. Of one sending young souls off to certain doom. Yeah, I'm here about the job. Well, once you hear the details, I'm sure you will lose interest. Everyone else does. We of the Alpha Merchant Navy wish to hire a representative to track and kill the notorious pirate Dead Kell and his crew of murderous hanged men. And who is Dead Kell? They had many names for him during the Middle Kingdom's era. Ghost of the Frostbreak. The blood red sail. Every captain and swab on the frostbreak sea feared for their lives when Kell raised his flag. Many widows were made in those days, my friend. Of course, that was centuries ago, before he was killed. Uh, Dead Kell died? Oh, yes. The Alpha Navy put an end to Dead Kell generations ago. They tracked him to his island hideaway and turned his ship to tinder. There were no survivors. Now you understand our predicament. It's funny, if you look at his face, his eyes seems to have that almost smiling quality about them. <laughs> it's weird. And what has he done? Our shipping and transport lanes are a gauntlet. Dead kill preys on our ships like scabs feast on the dying. Helpless against him. We're losing one in five vessels departing from Rathir. Good sailors gone. Vital supplies sent to the depths. This must end now. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> Is it even possible to get to Rathir at level 10? Or below? Who knows? You will. Truly. I must admit I did not anticipate this development. Here is your payment. It is made in good faith. Once you've made your preparations, report to Captain Rast Brattigan in the Keys. She will be your escort. Rast is a good and loyal companion and a competent sailor, despite what they say. May Lyria protect you, and may her breath ever be at your back. Good luck. Did he just give me the pithy amount of, like, 4.5 thousand gold for this? Wow. Okay. Well, where is Captain Bertigan? She perches along the pier like a seabird, mm -hmm. never venturing far from her ship, the Calamity. Great name for a ship, the Calamity. Trust Rust. Uh-huh. Okay. Welcome. Relax. Rest a while. No time for that, lady. Zeradia knows no rest. I think my character has slept like twice in this whole adventure. <laughs> Which, according to the game, has taken like 81 days. Yeah. So many new faces in the market these days. Sleeping uh, twice in 81 days. Oh, poor girl. Alright. Well, it's off to the seas. Is this... Is this our fine vessel? Stay dry, Captain. <sighs> Don't bother me. I'm waiting for a passenger. Some suicidal idiot. Can't be caught chatting. I want to make a good impression. Aha, uh -huh, I'm your passenger? Well, tie me up and drag me under. So you're the one the Navy's hooked into finding Gallows End and killing dead Kel. It's suicide, really. Ask the others. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can't. But don't worry about them. Like my mother said, 
Don't weep for the fallen. Even if they could hear you, they wouldn't care. <laughs> My character does not look amused by her antics. Anyways, tell me about Dead Cal. He's the worst of the worst. A villain who truly enjoys the pain he inflicts. He's a slippery one, though. Not even death can catch Dead Kel. I'd love to be the one to bring him in. Maybe then I'd finally get some respect. I love how my, uh, Steve just blocks out people's faces. <laughs> Anyways, what is Gallo's End? It is the mysterious island fortress of Dead Kel and his crew. Why? Do you know how to get there? Because I have no idea. I was hoping to figure it out as we go, but I'm starting to wonder if that's a good idea. Well, you're a fool. Ah, but am I? Nothing in sailing is within our control. Not the weather, not the waves, not the ship. Like Mother said, most of the time, trying is a bad idea. Tari and I are ready when you are. Okay, even if they aren't in your control, you could at least plan... <sighs> Who is Tari? He's the fine first mate on the ground next to me. Words aren't his strength, although I'd be pressed to say what is exactly. I found him after I was forced to maroon my last first mate on a desert island. That man became obsessed with me, probably because we had sex. <laughs> a lot. Okay. Thanks for the information. Uh, you know where you're going? Seeing as I don't believe in navigation, I'd have to say no. Not the moment. Oh, splendid. Not to worry. Once you've wrecked enough ships, you get the hang of it. Splendid. I'm ready. If you're ready to depart, my vessel awaits. You'll find her both swift and seaworthy. Just don't go down into the hold. There's a leak down there. It's big. I'm predicting an uneventful voyage. We might even get bored. Off we go then. Trust oh God, no one, her voice. Except me, of course. Say, hey, Captain. Oh, that was interesting to say the least. Now, hear the tale of the Pirate King. Who cut a blood red wake from dark Rathia to frustrate sea, and dead Kel was his name. With hanged men crew and bow white flag, he sailed from gallows end. No solace for a sailor true when dead Kel ship. We shipwrecked. Of course. Well, Captain, how fare thee? Our crew doesn't seem to be in whoa much good spirits. Can I kill the crab? I can. Yeah, don't don't feast on my crew members. I can step all over them, but you can't feast on them. Where's Captain? Did Captain go down with her ship? Poor people. Hello. That's not Captain. So where is Captain? Oh, there's Captain. <laughs> uh, wow! I did not foresee such a horrendous disaster. Too bad. Are you well? Everything in its right place? Most of the others were killed. It wasn't quick. I heard their cries in the fog, but I couldn't do a thing. Why are you telling me? I know I was on the ship. You killed your crew. I did no such thing. I handpicked each man and woman on the vessel. I knew each one of them personally, their stories, their aspirations. I would never hurt a single one of them. 
I'm just thankful that Tari is still with us. <sighs> what happened to Tari? Not sure exactly, but he's bleeding like a gutted fish. We're going to need to reach shore if we want to fetch help. We'll have to come back for him. I wish there was another way. <sighs> I'm in charge because you are, a, are an idiot. Without a ship, I no longer possess any authority, so I defer to you. There is a flooded cavern down the beach. It may lead us to shore, although it appears to be blocked. I could try cobalt explosives. I keep a few in my pack, but I can't be certain of the outcome. To be honest, I don't even know if they work. Let's go! Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, where's... I'm assuming this is... Yeah. He's not a happy camper. Oh, hello. Huh. It's actually not that bad, considering how much I'm getting from gems. Anyways. It's kind of weird. You know, wait, was that a message in a bottle? To whoever finds this letter, I hope fortune has landed you a better fate in this life. Had I not been the irrational youth that I was, perhaps I would never have found myself trapped on this cursed island. Aspirations of wealth and glory do not compare to the comforts of home. That is the truth. May you heed my lessons of hindsight, Avery. Interesting. But yes, one has to wonder how such a person as Bradigan gets a friggin' ship. <laughs> and every time I say her name, Bradigan, it um it reminds me of Captain Branigan from Futurama. Yeah. Although they do share some qualities such as stupidity, you know? Just to name one. I think I read this already. All main stuff. Yeah. Probably. Oh. Alright, let's go see what is in the cave. Have we somehow managed... Where, where? Rats. Great. But yeah, have we somehow managed to find the island? Because that would be an impressive feat indeed. Oh, come on. Hey, bright again? There's another rat. Thanks. Thanks for the help. Cheer You're up. a real pal. Uh, don't even talk to me. <laughs> She's annoying. I suppose she's meant to be charming in some ways. Who's saying this? Oh, she is way over there. I'm missing something. Wet. Yuck. Well, that certainly did the job. Although, if the explosives were that potent, you'd have to wonder about her, like, keeping that in her freaking. 
backpack all these all this time? A little bit dangerous. Just a little bit. Does she not swim? <laughs> She's like my baby. Just stands there at the edge of the water. Oh, hello. Ugh, I meant to press inspect. That's so much easier than going through all this shit. What was there? Alright, survey of Gala's End. Modus. Whoa, hello, Modus Mining Company again. Ropar's Judok, lead excavator. While the island of Gala's End is obviously imbued with magic, there are no native minerals worth the trouble of mining. When our expedition first landed on the island, it was immediately obvious that it was filled with an abundance of natural resources. Upon further study, however, we found that the trees were rotten and the stone unbreakable. The mission's sorcerer found the root cause to be a cursed magic. We traced it back to the source, an Arathi altar on top of a mountain, but we were unable to open the door. The locals were of no help. Most of them have banded together and settled the southern coast, but they all seem to be trapped into some kind of religious zealotry, worshipping a god by the name of Akara. When we get back to Edessa, we will have to our researcher investigate Akara further. There was, on the other hand, plenty to salvage. Not only had the... Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Verga? Or the, the Verga? I don't know. Settled here at one point, but many of their ships have washed ashore. The salvage should at least pay for this expedition, but it's not worth another trip back to collect the rest. We found a large harbor on the west side of the island of Bergen Construction. If perhaps one of the other nearby isles, islands prove fruitful, we could perhaps use these docks as a resupply point. There is also a large Bergen keep in the middle of the island but it is in too much a state of disrepair to be useful. As for the tales of dead Kel, they seem to be false. We didn't run into him or any of his hanged men. There are quite a few fair Gorda, however, but they are a little different than the ones we see back home. They seem to be held together by roots, similar to larger ones we found all over the island. The wildlife of this island is quite dangerous. What looks like a large rock from a distance ends up being a deadly root golem upon closer inspection. We lost two men to these creatures. Additionally, the caves and Diverga tunnels seem to be filled with scavs, which have already cost us one operation. It is my recommendation that this island be removed from consideration for any new operation. Alright. Scavs, hey? What are scabs? I don't know. I'm. Pff, I probably like have seen them in the game before. I just don't know what they're called. Maybe. Yes. Oh God! If she opens her mouth every time I get near her, like Sakandra did. I am honestly going to be a little more than annoyed, and no, I have not encountered a scav before because I've never seen anything that looks this hideous in this game before. What is this thing? It. It's disgusting. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yes. It's disgusting. And these little bulbous things? They remind me of... Like, egg sacs, so... I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they are. Gross. Gross, 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 gross. crabs everywhere. Uh, you want to blow that up? I'm going to explode this next wall. Yeah, way I'm ahead of you, darling. 
wet. Yuck. I guess she truly does not like swimming. Oh, hello. Ew. Toxic slurry. Who was eating crabs? <laughs> I kind of like it when games actually include little details like that. Where, you know, the enemies aren't just there. Just sitting at a camp. They're not just, you know, hanging around. But they were actually, like, doing something. I was, I was eating. I was having a meal. Kind of reminds you that these monsters have lives, you know? Maybe not normal, like, lives as we humans know it, but... They hunt, they eat things, and they puke, apparently. Ew, what the fuck? Oh god, these things. I don't like the way they move, I don't like the way they sound, I don't like the way... They look. They look like insects. Fuck. Is it the acid that's making her do that? Where are you going? She's gonna blow up the next wall, but before the fighting's even done. Wait a minute. Where does this lead? I assume I can get back up? You know what? I actually just don't even want to bother. <laughs> I don't want to bother because there's... I don't believe I'm going to find anything that great that's worth walking around like that. Jabbering whoa, 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 whoa. I'm out of explosives. And we're so close. I can hear the waves on the sand. One of us is going to need to find some way to get us through this wall. And by someone, I mean you. Hello. You I'm see, in I charge. don't swim. Or did I fail to mention that? Oh, so you do have a reason for why you stand at the water's edge and not follow me. Oh, does that mean I actually do have to jump in the water? On Ember Eyes. Pretty sure I read that, didn't I? Uh... Green Book. I think so. I probably have. Alright. I guess I'm jumping off. Apparently there's something here. Explosives? Oh. K and fish. Gnome nursery rhyme. Laz and Raz, the brothers grumble, as transcribed by Phineas Calidus. Or Calidus. Laz and Raz, the brothers grumble, parents each and neither humble. They have had no mind, the sons of Laz, no body to find, the maids of Raz. What each one wants, the other has. We work together, they often mumble, but hate each other, the brothers grumble. Both lines born with such a plight, combine to wield lordly might, but battle at the merest light. Their conflicts cause them both to tumble. Heed this from the brothers grumble. Okay, whatever the hell that means. I'm assuming this is our way up again. <laughs> if a cowl truly was impregnable, that would be pretty impressive. 
What is this effect that I have on me right now, anyways? Uh, status. Oh. Okay. Can I stand next to it? <laughs> I can! <laughs> All right, girly. I got explosives. Actually, singular now. Here we go. Smell that? Fresh. Her voice really doesn't carry, does it? You think being in the same room as her, you'd be able to hear? You have to wonder in those cases, where exactly does the freaking stone go? It just sinks into the ground. Chakrams. I would love to get a new chakram. I don't think anything is as good as mine is, though. Here we go. Here we go, indeed. Alright, we're out. Awesome. Amazing! <laughs> we survived! I didn't want to say anything in the cavern, but I was betting against us. Oh, thanks. In the words of my dear departed mother, always prepare for the worst, for it'll probably happen. There looks to be a second. Excuse on me? The beach. Come, let's see who's at home. That is at total odds with what you said before. That shit's gonna happen anyway, so there's no point in planning. Ready when you are. You, my dear woman, are an idiot. Her grave of Isolde Holstig. He died alone, but a car will never abandon you. He is your family now. Nal Gorwin, may you be welcomed into Akara's heart. We will not forget you. Barry Donald. Killed by dead Cal, lost at sea, found on Gallows End. Praise Akara. Uh huh. Well, on that note, we will call it here, and I'll see you guys next time.